So what is a heat wave and how should we think about it in our day-to-day -day lives? So a heat wave, it's in the name, it's the heat that we're seeing over a sequence of unusually hot days and it's a wave of days where we see the heat that's being accumulated in one day being passed to the next day. And that happens when we don't cool enough overnight, so the minimum becomes very important because the higher the minimum, the less heat we can discharge from the day before. So the environment has more heat in it in that next day. And if the minimum keeps on coming up, it keeps on adding heat. And that's where we get the heat intensity growing over time. And how should we think about heat waves? Well, we should think of it as a weather phenomenon where wind, for instance, has a lot of low wind days where we cope very nicely. But as the wind intensity increases in intensity, we finally get to a level where we want to warn to help people protect themselves from unwanted damage or injury. Maybe they're sailing or maybe they've got a crane or maybe it's a bouncing castle. But in this case for heat, there's a lot of low intensity heat where we are very capable of managing it. But once we reach an intensity that's dangerous, we may find that vulnerable people who have pre-existing health conditions or are old need a warning so they can change their behaviour or get more assistance. And as that intensity goes up, we may get to a level where our infrastructure is starting to be impacted or healthy people need to take more protective action. And that's the way in which to think of heat waves as an intensity phenomena where we can understand that we cope quite well in low intensity heat waves, but we all need that warning at different levels to take appropriate action.